life. Life is, is an interesting journey of ups and downs. But how that journey ends is up to you today. You see, when you fall down, you feel like giving up. When times get tough, it's not the end. The question is, are you going to finish strong? The first thing I want you to take away from today is this. You will have good days and you'll have bad days. But you will always learn something more or something new. And you will learn more overall on bad days than good days. There are some times where you're going to wish that you could rewind and, and do things all over again. There are times where, where you just wish you could forget memories and you try to drown those memories in alcohol or different pleasures and maybe get distracted by the goals and ambitions of your life and try to put the past behind and move forward. The greatest disability is your mind. The choices that you make. The question is, are you going to make the right choices? Are you going to make the choice? To have your life in its right perspective. Are you going to make the choice to get up instead of give up? Are you going to make the choice to dream big? There is no greater disability that we have in our life than to make the decision to give up. Because once you give up, then there is no hope. But until you give up, there is that hope. Don't be afraid of failing. Every time you fall down, every time you fail, you learn something new. You're ready for the next one. You've learned how not to do something. Well then learn from it and move on. Leave what's behind and press forward. You can only win if you don't give up. Go for it. Don't let anything hold you back. But I tell you, there are some times in life where you fall down feel like you don't have the strength to get back up. In our mind, we put ourselves down all the time. Maybe you have doubt in your life. Maybe you don't know for sure what's going to be happening in the future and it scares you. Maybe you're worried about what people think of you, what people say about you. And when you're growing up in life, it actually sort of matters to people how you look. And then it matters to you because it matters to others. Why? Why does it matter how you look? Because if they don't like you, then who will? If they don't accept you, then who will? And the fear that we have is that we're going to be alone. That we're not good enough. And you know, we have to change ourselves. You can either live your dreams or live your fears. And I think the majority of people actually are not living their dreams, but are living their fears. I want to ask you, what are you going to believe? Are you going to believe in yourself? Are you going to believe everybody else's judgment on you? Are you going to believe people when they say that you're a failure? The singular reason that I deal with negative comments so easily is because I have empathy for them. Yep. I feel bad for them. Don't let the fear of people, the fear of failure, the fear of being criticized hold you back. Because that, that is what depression does, it overpowers you, it takes the wheel and it steers you away from everyone and everything you love and it takes you down a dark tunnel and when you're in that tunnel it hugs you and it tells you that this is where you're supposed to belong. And it's about getting that internal voice to match up with those external voices that are being much nicer when you're in your darkest moments. There are times in life where you don't see the purpose or the good in your situation. But just because you can't see it, it doesn't mean it's not coming. So just because you can't see the hope in your situation, it doesn't mean that it's not there. God has put gifts and talents in you. He's given you dreams and goals that are unique to your life. You have something to offer that nobody else has. But it's easy to let fear hold us back. Fear of failure, fear of what people will think, fear of the unknown. What if I try and it doesn't happen? What if I don't have the talent? What if people don't accept me? Too often, we're letting the what ifs talk us out of it. Many people are living with hidden dreams, hidden talent, hidden potential. They have books in them, 
songs, businesses, leadership skills, but they're discounting themselves, thinking they're not as talented as their friend. They've had too many setbacks. They tried in the past and it didn't work out. My message today is very simple. Quit hiding what God has given you. Quit worrying about who's not for you. Some enemies are designed as a part of your destiny. They're not going to stop you. They're going to promote you. Now, keep running your race, not looking to the left nor to the right, not bothered by who's not celebrating you, who's not cheering you on. Other people may not be able to see your gifts. They don't know what God's put in you. They can't feel what you're feeling. Don't let their discouragement talk you out of it. Don't let the fear of what they think hold you back. You're not going to give an account to people of what you did with your life. Quit hiding your smile. Brighten our day. Quit hiding your encouragement. Lift somebody up. Quit hiding your talent. Make the world better. If God has given you the gift to see, start seeing. If you can write, start writing. If you can build, start building. If you can teach, start teaching. That gift was not meant to stay hidden. It's not doing you any good, nor is it doing us any good, as long as you keep it to yourself. It has to be released.